Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today, of course, I'm gonna make a cooking video, duh. Um, so, I did not post this weekend because things were freaking crazy, okay? I had little girls over here, I had birthday party, I had Easter, I was like a hot mess, okay? So I just didn't have time to post. Like, it was literally like, I am still exhausted and it's Tuesday. So it was like that crazy. But I'm back now and I've got a really good dinner planned for tonight. It's kind of like bare minimum, if you know what I'm saying, because we're like low in resources. So, but it's gonna be good, it's gonna be good. Anyways, I wanted to show you my Sensi stuff. So first, before I get to cooking, because technically my stuff's kinda, I'm making pretzel dough, right? So the yeast has to kinda activate. So I got some time. So I wanna show you what I got from Sensi. So, short story on my Sensi, right? There's cats. So I love my wax warmers. I love my house to smell clean or like to go with the holidays, you know, like fall scents. Love it. Anyways, so I was buying the Walmart stuff for the, the longest time, like, you know, all of my adulthood to make my house smell good, right? Well, then back in October when I started my job, um, I met this fantastic woman named Sherry, my Scentsy lady. She's actually therapy. She's a sort of, or... Um, certified occupational occupational therapy assistant. Sorry, that is a mouthful. Um, anyways, and we became good friends, and she sells Scentsy, and so she's got me hooked on Scentsy. Oh my god. Anyways, so I like order just about every month from her Scentsy wise, and I had a party for my birthday back in March, and with you know what. I earned like party points, you know, so I got some free product and I got a half price item. I got me get some good stuff. Sorry guys, I really cannot talk today. Like, I'm just like, my brain is mush. Anyways, let me show you what I got here. So, my half price item, I got a, another warmer and it is called Little Garden. And I'm really excited because I'm gonna stick it in my room. Um, this house is really small and it really stinks. And it doesn't stink like success, like it stinks like man. And you know, I'm just not used to that. Like my life has not been like my control, you know, and it's hard to live with somebody else. And like, you know, they have their own ways, you know, set ways in their home, how they like stuff. And it's not how you like stuff, but you can't do anything about it because it's their house that's like, overwhelming anyways so I'm gonna make my room smell like my room um, oh my god okay so this little garden right I love succulents okay if you don't know what a succulent is it is like this little plant like this little desert plant like they are so you know versatile for anything like they are really hard to kill so if you kill a succulent you really cannot keep stuff alive because these things need very little water and like they like the heat they like the dryness so if you kill it oh my gosh i am sorry so anyway so apparently this little garden wax warmer uh, you gotta assemble it oh god okay so here's i'm assuming this is my where i put my wax cubes oh are these real no okay they look very real like it looks like a cutting because you know if you you take a cutting which this is this would be really big for a cutting so i don't think it's real but it is really lifelike like sensi i am impressed okay oh yeah these are not real look look at it i am i am really impressed anyway so i love succulents okay and i saw this and before we moved back here to Indiana, um, the theme for my room was kind of like zen. So, oh, it came with rocks. So I was like, oh my God. Now, not saying that's gonna be my theme the next time we buy a home, but I don't know, I just like succulents, so here it is. So I'm assuming that I get to arrange this however I like, which is fine and all, but I really like the picture. Um, I liked how the picture looks. 
I guess I can, I can try. Whatever, I guess this is kind of idiot proof. So let me pour my racks in here. Hi. Hopefully I don't spill them. Get out of there! Okay. Hmm. Okay, I'm feeling the zen mood here. Good thing this isn't sand. Oh shit, the bad thing about this is my son. Dang it. I'm gonna just stick these bad boys right in. I like this. This is cool as shit. And shit's not really cool, so this is pretty cool. Yeah. Oh. I'm so heckin' excited. Look at it. Oh my god. Okay, so this was my half price item. I believe this was $40. So, um, since I had a party and I sold, I think once you hit um, $250 in sold products from your party, you get a half price item. So, that makes it half price, as in what it says. So, this is what I got. I'm pretty excited. Okay, now, with that, I got this scent called Havana Cabana. Okay, now this... The scent said it was supposed to be like scents of banana, pineapple, um, something else. I don't know, like a really like tropical scent. So, ooh, I would totally like this. Reminds me of like a bathroom smell, you know, like really clean, like bubbly, like you know, bubble bath stuff, like. I really like that. It almost reminds me of pina colada, but more pineapple. I like it. Okay. Also, I got um, this was my free. This was my free product right here. I had like thirty dollars in free product. So for I got oh, I love these room for sprays. Oh my gosh, sorry, I cannot talk. So I got this sea salt avocado, right? And you're probably thinking like, ew, but. But it doesn't even smell like avocado like that's the thing it's this really like clean fresh scent but it's mellow it's not like overwhelming I even so my work clothes I'll wear them for like two three days just depending on how nasty it gets at work which isn't too bad so to freshen my my uniform up I just spray some of my room spray on my Ooh. Okay, this is coconut lemongrass, and I smell, I love lemon. I smell lemon, and I smell coconut, but it's like not a nutty coconut. It's like a sweet coconut, yeah. Okay, I really got to spray this. Like, I am just too heckin' excited. Ready? Let's try that again. Oh. Oh, Nelly. Oh, my God. I freaking love it. So right off the bat, it makes me think of the lemon heads, like you know the candy. Yeah, I love it, and it's not like, um, oh, what's the cleaner? There's a cleaner that's supposed to be lemon scent. It doesn't smell like that. It smells like candy, like lemon candy. I love it. Oh my god, so excited. So that was that, and then of course I got um, two car bars as well. So. The one I put in my car is called Shimmer, and I freaking love it. It's another one of those, like, I think, like a bathroom scent. Like, it's real, like, it's clean and, like, bubbly, you know, like, fruity, bubbly, like a bubble bath. So, love it. And then I got my my husband. Um, it's called, okay, don't mind Pee Wee back here. Anyways, it's called, who My Dear Watson, if it focuses in, maybe. So, and it's a manly smell. It's like, I don't know, it's a manly smell, like, cologne kind of. I had bought him a couple, like, two months ago. It's called Mystery Man, and he claims he can't smell it, and it really isn't a strong smell, so hopefully this one's stronger. But anyways, guys, I am, like, super into the Scentsy stuff, and I love my Scentsy lady, but I seriously consider 
signing up to sell Scentsy just so I can order this shit whenever I want. Like, I just... I, I just freaking love Scentsy. I don't... And it's so weird because I was so against it. I'm like, that shit is so expensive and it's not worth it. But I'm addicted. Yeah! Now, the only problem I have is I have to find somewhere to put this that this is not going to knock down and break because I will be hella pissed about that, okay? I'm still, like, nervous about my really pretty sunflower one I have out in the living room. And also I have cats that like to get into shit, okay? I had a cat, I had to shave his belly because he put his pooch in the wax. How? I have no clue. He must have thought he could just walk across it. I don't know, but for, like, three months he had a bald spot where I had to shave his pooch. So, I can't wait, though. I gotta find somewhere. I don't even know. Maybe, like, over there. My room's pretty jank. It's really plain. It's like, there's no character, so I don't know. Like, I just gotta roll with what I got here, okay? You just gotta work with what you got. Okay, so I decided, hopefully I won't regret my decision, like I always do. So I stuck it right here next to um, my little picture of my mom. Uh, and a poem I wrote about her. This is when she was still alive. It was, I gave it to her, but of course... When she passed away, I took it back. So, hopefully, and next to my little computer, hopefully it works out, and I'm such an idiot, so I went to turn it on, I'm like, oh my god, it's not lighting up. What, what, did I break the bulb already? Because those things are expensive. This one doesn't have a bulb. So, I'm curious to see, like, how it works. Yeah, so we'll see. Okay, so enough about the Scentsy. Now, I know you're thinking, oh my gosh, it's Tuesday. Why are you not having tacos? Well, you gotta have hamburger meat to have tacos. Um, and the only ground meat I have is turkey, and I can already hear my husband in the back of my head being like, I ain't in that boo shit. So I'm just gonna move on to the next thing. We can go one week without tacos, it'll be okay. Are you ready to find out what I'm making? Okay, so we are making, drum roll please, dun, 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 dun. We are making pretzel steak burgers, okay? You're thinking like, what the fuck? What is that? Okay, it's something I just like came up the top of my head with. So, I am making homemade pretzels. Um, of course, if you're not interested in all the mess and the patience and all that riffraff, you can just buy pretzels from the store. It'll work the same. And then I'm taking steak. I'm gonna season it up real good with some steak seasoning. Mm -mm -mm. Who doesn't love steak? Um, but I bought the cheap shit, so it's not the real shit, okay? It's just, yeah. Anyways, and I'm putting some Gouda on my steak burger. Um, and I bought my husband this like habanero, damn, this like habanero pepper cheese for his. And I'm putting some onion and all that good stuff on there. Okay, so let me show you my steak, right? So I told you guys it was steak. Steak shit. Okay, this is steak. Look at this. This cow done got ran over by an 18-wheeler truck, okay? Like, mm -mm -mm. But Marky was not about to pay $20 for a piece of steak that I'm gonna be chopping up like that anyway, so. You can always cut corners, okay? Nothing wrong, and the husband hasn't even seen this yet, so it literally looks like a piece of baloney. I'm currently regretting my decision to make homemade pretzels. Sometimes, you know, as me, I, uh, I forget how exhausted I am after work, and I, and I always think stuff's a good idea, and then it's just really not a good idea. <laughs> And then I don't want to do it, but I still do it, you know. You know how it goes. You know, I get that buyer's guilt going on. Like, I'm at the Mommy. store, and stuff's really, like, a really good idea at the time. Like, yeah, I'm going to go all out. I'm going to make this really bomb-ass meal, and I'm just going to make this really bomb-ass video. Uh -huh. And then I buy it, and then I get home, and I start cooking, and I'm like, damn, this is a bad idea. Like, I am tired. I'm occupied. What? He is so cute. How could I be mad at that face? 
on a side note, has anybody noticed there has been a jump in pregnant women? And I'm like, I'm trying to drink that water, but that water is not coming to me and I don't know why. It's so frustrating. Like every time I jump on my Facebook, I'm, there's like a new lady like, oh, I'm pregnant. And the next day, oh, I'm pregnant. I'm like, oh, shut up. Like, fuck you. And I'm all in my feelings like, I don't know why I'm not pregnant yet. And then I'm like, oh, wait, reality hits. Yes, I do. Because my husband's over here like, you get the D when you deserve it. And I'm like, nah, bro. Did you really just go there? Like, I deserve it all the time. Three times a day, 365 days a year. Okay? All day or a day. But men don't think like that. And they're like, here's how it works. They hear the word sex, right? And they're like, um, that's a lot of work, a lot of effort, a lot of physical activity that I'm just not into. Like, I would rather just lay here and play the Xbox. Or I would rather just lay here on my phone. Like, I ain't got to do no work but move my fingers for that. Really? Hmm. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. I'll remember next time. You want to go to the candy shop, Mama Lick the Lollipop, I'm gonna be like, sorry, ain't got no sweet tooth today. Ain't no sweet tooth today. Hmm. More or less, the brother just scared of another commitment for another 18 uh -huh. years, so that's fine. I'm gonna rope him in. He ain't got no choice in the matter. There is no discussion. There is no no compromise okay it's happening i don't know when but it's going down and he knows it he's he's just trying to push it off okay anyway so i'm trying to figure out here do i want to roll these like to look like a pretzel like you think that'd be cool or should i just make them like a bun like what would you do i don't know decisions i'm not good at this okay i'm just I'm just impulsive. I just go with the minute. We're going with. Da -da! We're doing it, pretzels. No words needed for this. Okay, so if you with me and you making your homemade pretzels, we want this mother trucker to be big. Like, okay, like we need it long, okay? Cause we want some big pretzel. Um, and I'm not. I don't work at a. Any ends or nothing, so I don't. Crap, I think I need a bigger. Uh, okay, here's my pretzel. Um, I gotta find something to put this bad boy in this steam bath over her. Um, crap. I guess. I'm hoping this gets. I don't know, this really. <laughs> I don't think it looks like a pretzel, okay? Whatever. Guys, okay, I, I cook. I'm not like a professional pretzel roller here. Don't judge me. That's a rough draft. Um, I think I'm going to feed that to my kids. I need something. I need, I want bigger. See, this is the thing about cooking is you have to be creative and you have to have a couple trial runs to find like the perfect thing here. So we're just going to try it out. I'm thinking I need to approach this in a different perspective. I think... I need to go for like the tapeworm approach. Like I need to make it like super big and flat, like a, like a tapeworm. If you don't know what that is, Google it. That's all I can say, just Google it. But I'm thinking that, I don't know, we're gonna try it out. If all else fails, we're just gonna throw a big old chunk of rock in there and just call it a freaking bun, a pretzel bun. Okay, I scratched the flat thing. So I'm going for the smash dog turd pile, okay? That's the best I can think of. It's still too small. I don't know what to do. Jesus! This is not going as I imagined. So, I decided to go with, I rolled some pretzels. And I did some patties. They're supposed to be buns. We'll see how they turn out. I don't know what else to do. Like, look at it. This is my worst work ever. Okay, I feel like these didn't turn out quite as bad as I thought they would. Now, I forgot to tell you that normally when you make pretzels, you let them rise for an hour, but I'm not patient, so I don't do that. So, but I'll let me show you. They didn't turn out so bad. Here's my pretzels. See, they don't look so bad. Now, I didn't put an egg wash on them or they probably would have been a little better looking, not like so 
you know, stretched out, but I think they look pretty damn good. Even my pretzel buns that I made, they don't look so bad. They don't look like poop piles, so I'm pretty proud of myself. Now, my only other thing I gotta do is find a side dish, because my husband was already calling me like, hey, I'm a starving Marvin here, and you need to have me some lots of food here. So, um, <laughs> he's gonna get a rude awakening that there ain't jack shit here to make for sides. But I'll see. Anyway, so I'm letting these finish, and then I'm gonna put it together and show you I cannot Wait. Okay, it's time to assemble the the pretzel steak burger, okay? So this is still freaking hot. So here's my pretzel. I'm gonna lay it flat, okay? Now I'm gonna get my meat. <laughs> my meat. Okay, I got my meat on there. Look how good that looks. Okay, now I'm gonna put my cheese on it and I got Gouda. I'm telling you, if you haven't tried Gouda, get you some Gouda cheese, okay? I'm gonna pop that sucker in the microwave for about 15 seconds and let that Gouda get all melty and creamy and ooey gooey, okay? Um, now this isn't quite piping hot or that, you know, that would melt it, but so I'm just gonna use the microwave, it's okay. We're gonna cheat, it's okay. Oh my God, do you see how creamy this Gouda cheese is, okay? Ain't no Kobe Jack or no Cheddar gonna be looking like this, so you get you some Gouda. I'm telling you, Gouda all the way. Okay, now I don't so much care for onions. Um, I'm just gonna be real simple with my my steak burger, and just do the cheese and the steak. Okay, I think that'll be good enough. Now my husband, I'm gonna tap with onions, probably jalapenos, you know, all the good stuff. So let's get our other um, pretzel and put it on there. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, y'all, are you ready? Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Make sure. Mm. Oh my God! I just birthed the most amazing thing ever. Look at that. Okay, that's like Sunday football food right there. Okay, that's good shit. Okay, this is still mother freaking hot, probably because I put it in the microwave. Because the bottom one's hotter than the top one, but I want to show you how good it is. Okay, let me get a hold of this thing. Oh my god! Woo, hot, hot. Oh, hot! I'm telling you, that is good. Like, I could pile that high with other things and it would be super good, okay? So this wasn't this wasn't a fail like I thought it was gonna come to. So I am I am pretty like happy with this. I'm gonna go eat it now. And thank you guys for watching. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Um, Marky does fun things on her channel. And leave me some love, leave me some hate in the comments below. And um, hit that bell and turn those notifications on so that you guys can watch my new videos a lot of you guys are missing my videos I post I, I don't have the the views like I do the subscribers so make sure you hit the notifications so you get my new videos okay yeah your girl gonna go get fat she gonna go eat her her pretzel steak burger woo, woo. anyways you guys have a good evening I'm gonna go enjoy this and go to bed so I can deal with the same shit different day tomorrow. All right, I will see you guys later. Bye. Oh yeah, I wanted to show you my pretzel buns. They didn't turn out so bad. They'll work. So I'm good. I'm pretty. I'm pretty proud of myself because I thought I was gonna fail miserably. And in front of you guys, that's a big no-no. So. There you go. Your girl did it again. I proved you wrong. You probably thought I was going to fail too, but I didn't. <laughs> All right. See you later.